indeed, it is a good morning. Another nice, beautiful morning out here for sure. Nice and sunshine this morning. Yeah, we're gonna go find out if uh, we got bad traffic up here in Minneapolis. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. We gotta get through it. That's the way it goes. Yeah, I think this is where I was saying there's a little tiny truck stop up there on the right. There's only parking, I think, like for five trucks up there. We stayed a night over there one time. But we stayed there at the rest area last night. That was good. Nice and quiet over there. Nobody bothered us. Everything was safe. We were good. So here we are. Starting a new day on our journey towards Jackson, Missouri. I think we gotta get into that second lane there. Because we wanna stay on 35E. Yeah, now if only this four-wheeler would let us get in here, so there we go. Yeah. He just about ran into that other guy just to try and prevent us from getting in between us. <laughs> Uh, you know, sometimes these four-wheelers, I don't get it, but... Anyways, we are having a fantastic morning, right? Keep to the left on I-35. Uh, that's what I thought. Just need a coffee. Yeah, we need a coffee somewhere. But I know it was no truck stop there, so we, uh... Yeah, we didn't, weren't able to get coffee, but... We'll get it somewhere down the road. That's for sure. I know of a pilot truck stop there on the south side of Minneapolis, so maybe we'll do a pit stop in there and get us something to uh, drink over there. Maybe a hot coffee or something. We got water in here, we got uh, orange juice, we got Coke in here, but we don't have coffee today. Oh well. That's all right. We forgot our uh, tea Keep that we generally line. drink Keep at home, so I-35E. can't really drink that either, so, because we forgot it at home. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see what happens today. We're going to cruise right along here and hope for the best. we got 650 miles to go today. Continue on this road Although I don't think miles. we'll be uh, doing all of that today. I think we'll try and our goal is probably to shoot for 600 miles today. We'll see if we can do that. If we can do that, then we're happy campers. But if we can't, that's even fine with us too. We'll just get up earlier tomorrow morning and get going. <laughs> Simple as that. We haven't gotten a reload yet. I requested yesterday uh, from dispatch to give us a reload to Toronto. And he said he would try, and I said, well, that's all I can ask, right, is try and get us a load there. If you can make it work, then that's great. If you can't, then, well, we just go home, right? Or wherever else they have a load to. But yeah, now this morning I was uh, spraying some uh, oil onto my seat, or not onto the seat itself, but onto the uh, bearings and stuff. Now I don't have that squeaky noise in the seat anymore again. So that's nice. I hate that when I'm, you know, driving along the highway and wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, you know, all day long, you know, it gets annoying after a while. But yeah, now that's gone, so that's good. Now we can drive in peace for a couple of weeks. But anyways, we're having a fantastic morning, like I said, so we'll continue on cruising along here and see what kind of day we will have actually right all right guys we are coming into spring valley yeah apparently we are still in minnesota but eventually we'll get out of that right look at that uh, amw old style uh restaurant you can go and drive in and eat like they used to do back in the day we got another uh, little quick trip up here Speed Although warning. this is not a uh, truck stop up here. Yeah, anyways, uh, we stopped at a uh, quick trip there earlier. And we went inside and got us some turkey uh, 
sliced turkey and stuff like that for making sandwiches. We got us some bread, all kinds of goodies, some milk and all that stuff. So, uh, coffee. Yeah, on a coffee. And so we had us a few sandwiches in the truck. Yes, indeed. Bought us some water and all that good stuff. Only cost us 24 North bucks. Section Avenue, US 63. Oh yeah, we bought an onion, tomato, bananas. yeah, some bananas, all of that just for 24 bucks at the quick trip. It just goes to show you a lot cheaper to buy it there than at other truck stops, that's for sure. I guarantee you that would have probably cost us 35 bucks at other truck stops. Yeah. This is always a bit of a tight corner, I guess, but not super tight, but... Continue yeah, I've been down this road many times miles. before, so... I know how this road is. Or where to go, pretty much. But yeah, this is Spring Valley, Minnesota. Spring Valley, Missouri would sound familiar. But yeah. Started drizzling here a little bit ago and wife was looking at the weather there. It's supposed to be raining I think till two o'clock this afternoon. But my friend Barry was texting me earlier and he says up there in Manitoba it's uh, just pouring down he said and it's not letting up just yet he said. He said hopefully we don't get flooded out. But eh, it's the way it is. Yep. Look at some of these old buildings they got up here. Beautiful all those, big trees. Yeah. yeah. Very beautiful. Indeed it is. Little town. But looks go uh, gorgeous. Look at that the way they got that yard there. They got like, cement or whatever and then dirt filled in there so that way the lawn is even pretty cool yes indeed but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here probably have another hour and a half or so and then we'll be at the uh, flying J up there in Iowa I always forget exactly what it's called up there but it's close by Waterloo I believe I think we go through Waterloo first and then on the other side of Waterloo is where uh, that Flying J is, but it's not part of Waterloo, it's part of some other town. And we'll fuel up a little bit, we can't fuel all the way up because then we'll be overweight, but we'll fuel up a little bit and then we'll go take us a shower, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Ready guys, we are now in Waterloo, Iowa. Yes, indeed we are. Take a look at this river up here guys. Look at that. Going over a little bit of a river. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we are uh, cruising right along here. We're only a few miles away from the Fly and J. And then we'll stop her in there. And in 700 feet, keep to the left on US 218 South I-380. Fuel up the truck and get us a good shower. Yes, indeed. It has finally stopped raining. So it's no longer raining at least. So that's a good thing. Apparently they're starting to get flooded up in Manitoba, so it's apparently raining really heavily over there. But anyways, we'll go down to the flying hook and take care of business, right? Alright guys, looks like our chicken house is open up here in Iowa on the 380 Southbound. Yeah, that's what I suspected that they would be open, but oh well, we have to cross it. 
but we just fueled up a little bit anyway so hopefully we're not too heavy on the drives I guess we're about to find out eh I guess so oh well I know I do have the exemption of my APU unit so should be okay keep our fingers crossed I did scale this load before I took off from dry so I know how heavy I am at least up there so didn't scale after we fueled but anyways we'll fuel her up and we'll see how, how it goes eh yeah let's see what they're gonna have to say stop here on red all right let's see yeah so far so good still green yeah, looking good yeah, I guess we feel the right here we go I guess we did a good job getting the right amount of fuel in there that's good continue on this road for 37 miles yeah we had our showers yes indeed we did there is some pretty dark clouds over there towards the right of us so we might be getting some heavy rain here pretty soon but then again, it's not in our control, right? Yeah. Well, we feel pretty good now after we had a shower. Yes, indeed. So, we still have 415 more miles to go to our delivery, but... Uh, As we told you yesterday, we ain't gonna make it there all the way today, but that's all right. We'll get there tomorrow, right? Yes, indeed. Looks like they got a lot of cornfields up here in these areas, up here in Iowa, and even in the southern part of Minnesota. Cornfield after cornfield, that's what we've been seeing. Yep. Not much else, that's for sure. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and keep on rolling and see how far we can make it today. Alright guys, we are in a bad thunderstorm right now. They're calling for 40 to 60 mile an hour winds right now. And uh, I don't know if the camera is able to pick it up, but that wind is pretty strong. Yes indeed. Although we are very heavy, so we can generally uh, continue cruising along here at an okay speed, but I don't know if you can see them trees there to the right, they're just waving like crazy. And even that camper ahead of us there, <laughs> look at that part that he's got over that back uh, item that he's got there, it's just waving like crazy. But yeah. That's what we are dealing with today. I was just listening to the uh, alert system and yeah, they're calling for some severe thunderstorms out here. You can definitely tell that's definitely some bad weather, that's for sure. But wish us luck and we will continue cruising as long as we can. But look at them trees, they them small, even small little trees like that here. Just about blowing over. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and we'll keep you guys up to date. Well guys, we are still giving her. Yes, indeed we are. Yeah, looks like that rain has finally passed us. Got pretty windy and rainy up there for a little bit. Then eventually we managed to get through it and now it looks like it's the east of us now. Yes, indeed. So we got 114 more miles to go up to St. Louis. I think they were supposed to get some thunderstorms up over there as well. But here we are just cruising right along. We are right now, I guess, on US 24. I 
guess that's what the GPS is saying anyways. We have just gotten us a reload here a few minutes ago. And it's not exactly what we wanted, but uh, hey, you can't always have what you want, right? We kind of got something that we wanted last week and can't always expect that, right? We did get us a reload only about 45 miles uh, away from where we uh, deliver our load and then uh, yeah and then we uh, pick up there and go to Winnipeg but I think I'm gonna go pull in over here at this little truck stop if there is one I think there is one and then uh, we're gonna go take care of some business I think I need to go use the bathroom yeah, I think this truck is pulling in there. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of a truck stop in the back there. So yeah, we'll go pull in over here and take care of some business and then continue on with our journey. Yes, indeed. Wow, they even got a cat scale up here. Wow, doesn't look like any kind of big truck stop. Oh yeah, I remember this truck stop. I stayed here one night. Right on. I was coming drive. back. I remember that. I stayed here one time. It's a little tight there at some places, but it's all right. You can generally get in there. So let's see. Let's see how we can do this. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go pull right in. And then we can back her out later on. That's the plan. So we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, we are now coming into the St. Louis, Missouri area. Yes indeed, we are currently on uh, I-64. Yes indeed, and I do believe this is a brand new bridge that they have built here not too long ago. Yeah, that was a sign right there. It says uh, entering St. Louis, uh, county or whatever that's called so yeah so now we are not too far from our delivery anymore only about two more hours worth of driving that we got to do looks like we will probably do about another hour probably today that four-wheeler had to come into my lane again all right i guess we'll get into this lane over here so we're not tailgating him Oh yeah, look at that, we uh, <laughs> got a four-wheeler or a tow truck here on the shoulder too, so good thing we moved over. Oh wow, somebody hit the ditch. <laughs> okay. But anyways, like I was saying, we're only about two hours away from our delivery place, so we'll, we'll drive probably another hour, 45 minutes or so today yet, and then uh, we'll just call it a day. Our reload is only to be picked up at 12 noon tomorrow, so it ain't a big rush tomorrow anyway, so from where we deliver to where we pick up is only about 45 minutes drive, so don't really have to rush to get down there and pick that up, so uh, because the place, I know places like that are usually pretty fussy even with appointment times and stuff like that, so I'm not really gonna rush to get down there too too early because they probably won't even load me, you know. But anyways, uh, it has finally stopped raining and we even got a little bit of sunshine here earlier. Now it's disappeared again, but, but yeah, just a nice drive today. It's been going very well today, a nice quiet day. All that good stuff, so we'll see if St. Louis still has heavy traffic. I kind of doubt it, because it's already 20 minutes to 7 right now. I don't think they're going to have too much of a traffic issue over there, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we are just about done for today, that's it. Hey guys, look at this, we are done for today. Yes indeed. And look what we are up to. Holy moly. Yes, indeed. Look at that. We got us some hamburgers. And this time, we got the cheese by the meat. Yes, indeed. 
got corrected the last time I did burgers. Supposedly the cheese is supposed to touch the meat. We corrected that this time. <laughs> Anyways, the wife cooked some nice burgers. Look at that. Fantastic. I think it's going to taste real good. So let's get to eating. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. Yes, indeed. What do you say? We had a good day? Uh, besides the storm, yeah. Yeah. Good. There you go. Yeah, it's been a pretty decent day. It's dark now, as you can probably say it tell, but yeah, we had us a awesome dinner. We've been eating pretty much out of the truck for the last couple of days, but that's good. We needed to do that. Not because we can't afford to go eat in the restaurant, it's just, you know, it's nice to have a partner in here and uh, cook a meal, you know. To me, it's worthwhile when you can uh, have a meal with somebody else together, you know. But anyways, we are only about 84 miles away from our delivery place for tomorrow. So about an hour and a half, we should be there. So we're going to call it uh, quits today. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow morning. So have a good one, everybody. Behind me, that day is gonna come